Okay, we are here. Alliance Weight Gear Guide Review for 2023. I'm Cole, and with me right now is the Soulcraft Nose Rider. Obviously, the first thing you're gonna notice is this is a big board. This is 6'6", six, six, pretty wild. Um, definitely a good time behind the boat. This board is made to cruise, you know. We're not here to be doing crazy maneuvers. You know, this is longboard side, we're cruising. We're just hanging back there, old man status. You know, anybody can ride it, but it's just that, it's just a completely different vibe when you're riding a board like this. It does come with a back pad. Uh, you can see there, we do have the back pad, plenty of grip on that bad boy. Um, but you are gonna wanna wax up the rest. So that is something to consider. Make sure you pick yourself up some wax if you pick this board up. Also, it comes with a single fin and a single fin box. So that's all you're gonna be able to run. I love the single fin feel. Um, it's a very turns on a dime. We also have this tapered off tail that goes into a squared off tail. Um, you know, it's got drive, but it also is going to maneuver really well. And that's definitely what happened here. Pretty much the back three quarters of this board is a very flat rocker line. And then toward the tip here, you can kind of see it, it curves up. Um, so I wouldn't say that you could sit there and just hang 10 all day on this board. Once you kind of get that weight on this section, it definitely wants to die out on you. Um, so you can hang five, no problem out in the pocket. It's, it's, it's honestly a great time. If you're looking for something different to ride behind the boat than just your classic, you know, performance surfer, this is definitely an option you wanna check out. Now that we've kind of gone over the board, let's go into the categories and see where this thing stacks up. The first thing I wanna talk about is carve. We go one through 10 with this. This board for me landed at a five. Uh, I feel like it's not really a board to be an aggressive carving board, but that single fin lets you pivot that board real quick. The fun thing about this long board is you kind of ride in the pocket, get on the nose, then it catches the speed, and then you need to shift back to the back pad here, and then you need to pivot on that, that single fin. That does it real effortlessly. So the carving's there, but it is a lot of board to maneuver. So that's why it's a five out of 10. The next thing I wanna talk about though is stays and wave. And that's where this board is just one of the best. It's obviously a huge board, so it's gonna be super easy for anybody to stay in that wave. Uh, you can hang out in that pocket, uh, you know, in the back, front, middle, you can find all those sweet spots and have a good time. It's going to be a 9.5 on the scale just because it's so easy. That leads me into the other category we're gonna talk about, which is speed. This board has a lot of speed because it's got a lot of volume. So that board's moving quick. As soon as you put that weight on the front, it wants to go. Um, but it's a very fast board. So we're gonna give it a nine out of 10. Another category we do with wake surfers is pop. We go one through 10 with this as well. One is no pop and 10 is to the moon. And I, you know, I hope most of you know this, but this board is not made to pop. This is not a board that you're buying to do airs with. For that reason, this is gonna be a one on this pop scale. The last thing we wanna talk about is the ability scale. You know, who is this board for? Uh, to me, this board is for a beginner because it's just easy to ride. Anybody can jump on this board and stay in the wave. And that's kind of the goal here. Um, so if you want a board that you know, anybody that's out on your boat wants to get behind the wave, they can learn how to do it with this board. So that wraps it up for the Soulcraft Nose Rider. Uh, this thing is a unique board to have in your quiver. Um, if you can, check it out, get on one, you know, make your day with it because I had a blast on it, so I'm pretty sure you guys will too. Um, if you wanna know more information about this, other boards in the Soulcraft line, just head over to the website in the description below to find out more details. Also hit that like and subscribe button so you can be up to date with anything that's coming out in the future. I'm Cole and we'll see you on the next one.